Ever wondered what ways you can improve your stream in video in OBS? In this video, I have the most common five mistakes that everyone makes when they set up their OBS studio. So the good thing about this is it's an easy fix, which I'm gonna show you in the video. So let's take a look at the first one. First one is not setting up and utilizing nested scenes within OBS Studio. So if you're not familiar what nested scenes are, I'll give you a demonstration here with a project that I have set up here. So if you're brand new to OBS Studio, you have one section here, which is your scenes, which is on the left. And then you also have sources, which is on the right here, you can see. And this is where you add things like your cameras, you can add pictures, you can add text. So the scene is just the sort of, you know, the overall scene that you want to set up and you can add layers within that using the sources. So how nested scenes are different and more useful in a lot of cases to set up here is nested scenes, you can add scenes within scenes. So like an inception of scenes. So if you're familiar with Photoshop or any other sort of video editing where you can layer things and stack things, that's basically what we're doing here. So what most people do is they'll create a scene like this and then they'll add a webcam or a video. So I'm gonna add a video source here. So video capture card here. And I'm just going to select my webcam. And you can see sometimes you get this issue. See, I've already got my webcam added into another scene here. If I go to my webcam here, see it's already added on screen. And when I go back up to this scene here, I want this webcam to have that same camera, but in a new scene and see it's not detecting it even if I, switch up to the other camera, it just won't detect it. So to give you an idea how to use these nested scenes and why they're useful. So now if we go back to my webcam here, which I've added it through here in a nested scene. So this here, I would just like to put some dashes on there to make sure that I know that it's a nested scene. So think of a nested scene as like the original place that you add. So if you ever need to add the camera or change it, you'd go like you would normally, you would add your scene and then you'd add a source and then you would change the device that you want to pick it up here. So for example, you'd add here. So you click the plus icon, click scene, click the plus icon in sources, and then click what you want to add here. If it's a media source, an image slideshow, video capture device, audio device, it could be anything. So here you could add a video device and then you can select whatever video device that you wanted to add. They work exactly the same as scenes, but you're just kind of putting them down in the chain and reusing them. And the way to reuse them, so here I've got this background one that I've added, and then I've got this image that I've added into the scene. So now that I've got the background image, I make another one for my webcam. So I have a webcam here, I add my webcam, label it as a nested scene, move on to the next thing I wanna capture. This one is just a screen capture. So now I've got a screen capture for a display capture if I wanna utilize that in my productions. This one here, is just an animated frame that you can see it's gonna be animated around the sides there. And I can use that for my cropped videos. And also another cropped one here where I'm actually cropping the webcam. And this is where you're gonna see the first scene within a scene where it's nested. So I've made it green here so you can kind of see. So this is a nested scene. You can see it has NS webcam, which is the one I've created here. And because I've added this original source into this new scene, I can add effects like here, like these filters, like this image mask blend, which has a circle image, which crops the video image into a circle. And because I have that on this one here, it's only affecting this nested scene, the NS crop. If I wanted this full screen shot to be a part of my production, I'll show you how to create that. So we've got our other scenes here, all the different crops and everything, and even the circle crop here but we want a full screenshot of us like here on camera with my other webcam. So once again, I can add the scene, add it to my working scenes for my production, add to the sources here. And this is where you do the nested scenes. There's a button here called scene, as you can see with these little lines here. Now this is, when you click that, you're gonna be able to choose any of the scenes that you've created. So this is where I can pick any scene that I like. I'm gonna pick the webcam scene that I created out of the nested scenes, the NS webcam. So I'm gonna select that one and it's gonna be added in to this scene that I just created. And you can see, now I have that as my working scenes. I have a full screen webcam ready for my production alongside my other frames that I've made. And this works with the other ones. As you can see here with my top left one, I have the background nested scene here added. So if I wanna add my background image to this scene here, which is not here yet, all I need to do is go down to the scene button. Once again, click that, look for my nested scene one, 
that I created as a background. Choose the background and nested scene that I created. And all I need to do is drag it below it. And now I have that added. So it just makes your workflow a lot better and easier for your productions. And good thing is it's no plugins needed. You can do this all with an OBS. So it's gonna be very stable for your productions. If you wanna continue this series and watch part two, click on the end card at the end of this video to see the next one where we talk about audio settings.